line that's it they're in the gate and they're off in the Qatar purebred Arabian four-year-old derby and it was a very level break although Shabi al Rear did not get the kick and he's towards the back of the field one of the likely pace angles and it is my first general who is sent on to the early lead Sanborn towards the outside is in second Yazid is prominent in third followed by Asif Nafs who's a little bit deep out on the track and being followed into the turn by Ibraz who's also a little bit wide as they go now through the first 400 and my first general is out in front and leads now by a length and a half to Yazid against the rail racing in second place Sanborn is in third as they go towards the back stretch but they're still very tightly grouped the one who is struggling is the mayor Jalwa Al Jazeera into the back stretch they go and my first general and Stefan Lajad are out in front with around the outside as if Nath's now to take second between also Sanborn and on the inside Yazid who's traveling powerfully Ibraz has had a wide trip so far and he's racing in fifth. Atij is in sixth. Alpharit is racing in seventh. Zikrit around the outside is in eighth. He's then being followed on the inside by Al Muzdahir. Al Muzdahir is an advance of Sabi Al Ria, who's never managed to live with the early pace. Neither to uh, see Hab and still the back marker is Jalal Al Jazeera. Less than 800 to go and my first general now begins to come under a ride but he's still got a lead of just over a length as they go into to the turn as if Nafs and around the outside Ibraz is traveling really powerfully into the race for Dio Bachelot as now they begin to make the turn they've got 500 to go and poised towards the outside is Ibraz and at the moment Yazid cannot get an out Pellier is screaming for racing room he's been kept in a pocket and Ibraz got first run Zikrit around the outside now in second now Yazid has got clear sailing between horses a T staying on towards the inside Sabi al Rear is staying on. Yazid and Ibraz, the best two Arabians in the world, are head to head. And Yazid is now a nose in front. Here comes the line. Yazid oh. may have just got there. Ibraz was coming back at the line. So we can now confirm the result as we see Yazid near side holding on to repel the late. Lunge of Ibraz, first number 11, Yazid. Second, number six, Ibraz. Third was number 10, Sabi al -Ria. Fourth, number 12, Zikrit. And the fifth horse was number four, Atij. 11, six and 10 in a runtime of two minutes, 12.39 seconds. And we welcome to the presentation podium the chairman of the Racing and Equestrian Club, His Excellency Mr. Issa Mohammed Al Mohanadi, alongside Nasser Sharida Al Kabi, the general manager here, and Mr. Al Mohanadi he is now going to present the winning jockey's trophy to Olivier Pellier, the rider of Yazid. السيد سعادة السيد عيسى المهندي رئيس مجلس إدارة نادي السباق والفروسية 
يقوم بتتويج الفائزين بدربي قطر للخيل العربية الأصيلة الخيال أوليفير بيلي ولدان. And now the winning trainer once again, Alban Demiul. المدرب الفائز بهذا الشوط ألبان دميول. And finally, representing the owners, Amquan Farms, please once again welcome and put your hands together for the racing manager here at the Qatar Racing and Equestrian Club, Abdullah Khabazi. يتسلم كأس دربي قطر للخيل العربية الأصيلة السيد عبد الله الكبيسي نيابة عن السادة أم قرن الفبروك الفوز بطل دربي قطر للخيل العربية الأصيلة المهر الأزرق يزيد ولدان Yazid, the winner of the Purebred Arabians Qatar Derby Group 2. Congratulations to Alba, Olivier and to Umquan Farms. And with one race to bring you, the 2017 Qatar Derby. Let's enjoy one of the finest finishes we've witnessed here at Al-Rayal.